How's it going, you guys? Aviator Z here, back with another video. And today, we're gonna be having a little airplane talk. But first, since it's one of the few days that Nashville's decided to have some pretty good weather this winter, I'm gonna make the best of it and go for a little run. So see you guys when I get there. So, I'm out here kind of just warming up, trying to get ready for this run, but today, like I said, we're going to be talking about airplanes. So, when I think about the Air Force in general, the first thing that comes to my mind is that they have all the cool aircraft. I mean, they have so many cool aircraft, like F-22, the F-16, the A-10, just to name a few, and I really want to go in depth today about my opinion on all the cool aircraft that they have but I'm not going to be going into the heavies and the cargos today I will talk about those but those aren't really my areas of expertise and I'm not really an expert at all I don't really have my pilot's license I'm just kind of an enthusiast so you guys please don't roast me too bad in the comment section but you know I kind of just want to talk about them and you know put my opinions on all the, the aircraft that they have and where I would rank them on my favorite list of all time so without further ado let's get to it also i'm trying to save my plant so uh today is as you can see here uh february 15th i started this experiment on the 5th of february so it's coming along but uh unfortunately my plant is not looking too hot and so, or neither of the other seeds, but um, I brought them out here so I can get them some direct sunlight because they haven't seen any direct sunlight since uh, the start of this project. So yeah, uh, they're not looking too hot, but hopefully they'll revive themselves. Yeah. <laughs> so, as many of you may or may not know, I hope, I'm hoping that, uh, my audio gets picked up on my airpods but uh as many of you may or may not know and you know you always gotta stretch shout out to uh cadet cologne for the stretching uh safety briefing but uh as many of you may or may not know i'm in air force rotc and i was also a former athlete with that being said i injured myself quite a bit through my athletic days and Right now I'm dealing with a hamstring. Uh, I've been dealing with I've been dealing with my hamstring for about uh, I don't know it's been going on for about three or four years now. So I've never really been able to sprint like I've used to or run like I've used to. So please do not roast me. I'm just trying to uh, get back to where I'm at and you know be able to run my mile without my hamstring hurting. But you know I've been hurting. Uh, a little bit recently because I've just trying to been I've trying to been getting myself ready for the sister Olympics and Gamma Cup, but um, My hamstring has started to hurt a little bit again, so you know the grind doesn't stop but I don't know if I'll be ready for Gamma Cup But like I said after I get this run going we're gonna uh, start talking about these airplanes and you know I got some cool little clips to show you guys from real life and from a uh, just just me and YouTube and what I can find on YouTube so all right now that we're finished with our workout we can finally get to talking about the good stuff the aircraft <clears throat> so I've been trying to make this video for a long time but unfortunately just been kind of busy so now we're here the first aircraft we're gonna talk about today Everybody should know and love this aircraft. It's not, this aircraft has been around for a very, very, very long time. I mean, I'm going to allude to it in a, little, a little bit. You know, it's been around. We all know that. <clears throat> it's very slow in relativeness to all the other, all the other aircraft in the uh, Air Force's arsenal. You know, I just got to, I just got to put on the shades for this one because it's just, it's so cool. You know what I'm saying? 
The first aircraft we're gonna talk about today is the A-10 Thunderbird. Oh, there it is! The A-10, man, the A-10. Where, where do I even start with the A-10? The A-10 is prolific, you know? It's been around for a very, very long time. I think they first started using it in Vietnam, I believe. I, I believe so. And there's been no plane designed to do close air support solely. Like, <clears throat> that's why the airplane is so amazing. Um, I personally love the A-10 because it's like the one plane that I really just fell in love with. Like I've seen it, I've seen it fly plenty of times. I've seen it in uh, air show. I've seen it in a museum. <clears throat> I got to touch one. I mean, not not only that. I mean, just the airplane is so historic, and you know, hearing all the stories from like I've a I have a friend who's over in Iraq, or who was over in Iraq. He said when an A ten flew over and gave them close air support. You know, it was the best feeling in the world. And hearing that and, you know, hearing the testimonies from the, uh, the soldiers on the ground who get to see and see the effects of the A-10. I mean, it, it it's an ex explanation of itself. Like, it's absolutely amazing. And so the A-10 is by far my number one aircraft of all time, the A-10. Now, here's the, here's the other question. Do I want to fly the A-10? Yes and no. Why do I say yes and no? See, it's a 50-50 for me. I've always loved the mission of close air support. Absolutely. The mission of close air support is, you know, bar none. You know, being able to help the dudes on the ground and girls on the ground. I mean, there's no better mission than that from, I think, a pilot's perspective. You know, being able to, you know, like uh, I saw on a YouTube video where one of the pilots was talking about the mission of close air support. And he was like, when you're over in combat, you're doing like the 911 of the sky. Like, those guys call you on the ground, they're like, we need help, and you go and, you know, you give them that help, and I think that's amazing. Now, from that aspect, we're going to put that in this box. Now, there's this box, all right? This box is the Zach, right? This is the Zach. You know, I'm a little weird, right? So, we have the awesomeness, and here's me. <clears throat> well, here's the no part. The no part is because the A-10 is slow. Now, I'm not saying that as a bad thing. The airplane needs to be, you know, slow enough to be able to maneuver and being able to, you know, get back on target and, you know, things like that. But there's something about, you know, these these jets, man, these Air Force aircraft that, you know, for me, I've always been one of those guys to, uh, you know, look up the videos of the, the, the fighter aircraft doing the unrestricted climbs. <sighs> And quite frankly, I don't I don't know if the, the A-10 could do that. Not to say the aircraft is, you know, bad or anything like that. It's just, you know, me and going fast. I want to go fast. I want a motorcycle. I want to go as fast as possible. I want to go as high as possible. And I want to pull as many Gs as possible. <clears throat> so that's that's this box. So I would love to fly the A-10. If I, if, I, if, I, if I had the chance to fly the A-10... I would fly the A-10. I'm just saying. I, at the same time, you know, with all the other aircraft that they have that we're going to get into, I would also, you know, there's some differences. So moving from number one, the A-10, my number two aircraft. Now, this is a close one. My number two aircraft is the F-16. <laughs> F-16, I have also seen many times. I love the F-16. It's absolutely amazing. One, it's fast. And it's loud. And I like loud, and I like fast. Number two, it's a multi-role aircraft. 
that being said, unlike the A10, where A, the A10 was designed around close air support, the F-16 can do everything. And that's what I like about it. I I see the A-10, or not the A-10, I see, like, it's going to sound a little bit corny, but I see the F-16, like, myself, you know what I'm saying? Like, for me, playing football, I've played every single position on the field my whole life. i played linebacker, cornerback, safety, uh, even defensive end at one point, wide receiver, running back, quarterback, literally everything. And it's a multi-role. Like, I, I see myself as, like, a multi-role you know, kick return partners and stuff like that. And the F-16 can do it all. Like, offensive counter, defensive counter, escort, close air support, air-to-air. Like, all sorts of stuff. And that's the that's the F-16's role, is to do everything. It can, it can be that platform that can be put everywhere. And I love it. It's fast. It's loud. And it's just hot. I think the F-16 is absolutely gorgeous. Like, drop-down gorgeous. Not as gorgeous as the A-10, but ah, God, the F-16 is very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. So at number two, also, also, the F-16 is the aircraft that the Thunderbirds use, and it's pretty awesome. So that's my number two aircraft. Number three, we're we're just going to go down the line, all right? Number three, my number three aircraft. This one was also a, uh, I had to think about this one a lot. Number three is the F-22 Raptor. Now, many of you are probably like, oh, no way, this guy put the A-10 and the F-16 over the F-22. Again, this is my opinion. Uh, you know, we can have the discussion in the comment section. I may not even have all the facts right and stuff like that, so you guys can correct me. But my number three aircraft is the <clears throat> F-22 Raptor. Now, the F-22, where do I start with this guy? The F-22 is... It's F-22 is amazing. So, funny thing is, my detachment, Detachment 790, our motto is the de- 790 Raptors. Like, we are the Raptors. So, it's really cool getting to say that because it's the F-22. I mean, you know, Raptors. And... But, um, yeah, so the F-22, uh, from the first point, the first point I want to make about the F-22, it is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, man. I think all aircraft are beautiful, but not all aircraft are made equal. But the F-22, you know, S-tier. S-tier beautiful aircraft. You know, it is amazing. It's loud. It's fast. So that checks off my uh, my little check marks. Check, check. Loud and fast. It's beautiful. Check. And uh, it can go high. Now, the mission set of the, you know, it's, it's, an, air, it's an air superiority fighter. Much like the F-15C, but I think it's better than the F-15C. Even though the F-15, which we'll get to, has never... I think it's, like, undefeated in combat, which is absolutely dope, but we'll get to that. The F-22, I mean, the stories that you've seen... I saw an article the other day where uh, there was this F-22 pilot who flew under an F-4 Phantom, or not an F-4, or some aircraft. It flew under it. And basically told the aircraft to just, hey, look, bro, you probably just want to, like, go head out, bro, because it's not going to be looking good. Like, I see your whole weapons bay, and it was probably, just, like, that is ridiculous. So, like, the F-22, man, I don't know much about it other than, like, it's stealthy and stuff like that, and it's air superiority, and it's beautiful, and it's fast. But, like, who doesn't want to fly the F-22? Like, it's absolutely just, oh, gosh. So number three, we got the F-22. Number four, number four, man. It's kind of weird trying to rank these, but number four, I'm gonna have to go with, uh, oof, the F-35. Now this, 
the F thirty five it beats out it beats out the the last one by uh, by close by very close, and I'm gonna tell you guys why. But the F thirty five, it's new, it's loud, it's fast. Uh, it's fast, it's fast. It's new, loud, fast, and uh, it's also a multi role fighter. If you guys know me, like I said earlier, I love some multi role fighters. But um, again, it's multi role. Uh, the real reason why I like the F thirty five is because um, I heard its interface is like a, like really cool, where you could like tap on stuff, and it's like not a not a, a traditional sort of a fighter interface. Um, but yeah, the F thirty five is like really pretty to me. I really like it. The one thing I don't like about <clears throat> God, leave my English. The one thing I don't like about the F-35 that it doesn't have is the little uh, visor shield that the F-22 has. Um, I think the little visor shield is cool, uh, especially when you're making the, the videos. In all the videos, I see that like the F-22 has a visor shield. You can't see the pilot. It's like super dope. But um, I think the reason for that is so they could have the something about the technology of the helmet. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm probably just talking to you guys. Feel free to roast me on that. But uh, the F-35, man, it's, it's awesome. It's also pretty stealth. It, it is stealthy. And one thing I like about the F-22 and the F-35 is just the, the way that it drops and carries its payloads. Like the open doors, it's like, oh, geez, man. That's one reason why it's so beautiful. You just drop, drop the bomb out and it's like nothing. The F-16 and the F-15 and uh, the A-10, you know, carries them all on the outside. So it's kind of like, eh. But like... I think uh, because it carries them on all the weapons on the inside, it makes uh, it makes it carry like less payload, which is understandable. But I just think it looks amazing and really sleek and really cool. So the F thirty five and the helmet, I, I heard you could like look down and like see through the aircraft, which is pretty awesome. And uh, you know when oh check out uh, Fighter Pilot Podcast, their YouTube channel is awesome. They, they interview like the pilots and stuff who fought. Uh, I was just leave a link to their channel, but. Uh, they were talking about it and you can like look through the uh aircraft and you'd be able to like mark target like it's insane and i heard that the helmet is really expensive as well so the f-35 comes in at number four now number five i'm not gonna break them down into both categories i'm just gonna keep them both at number five so we have the f-15e we have the f-15c I'm not going to talk about the JMO. So, the F-15E and the F-15C. I'm going to I'm gonna rank them in, with, in the category of number five, like which one I'd want to fly first. But, <laughs> and this is going to go be, go be, off of or go against what I said earlier. But, in terms of F-15s, I would want to fly the F-15C over the F-15E. Now, that's going to contradict what I said earlier about multi-role fighters. The reason why I say I would, I'd rather fly the C... Let me let me explain. The F-15C is the single C variant of the F-15. And that's the air superiority fighter. And then the F-15E is the strike eagle. And that is the... It can do more. It carries a... I think it carries more payload. And there's also a two-seater. So there's a Wizzo in the back seat. So let me explain to you why I would want to fly the C over the E variant. First off, the F-15 is just at, it's beautiful. Right up there with the A-10, in my opinion, and the F-16, and the F-20. Actually, all of them. Every fighter is beautiful. But in terms of where I ranked it, it's right up there. I think the F-15 is gorgeous. But <clears throat> why I want to fly the C over the E is like, I don't know. I feel like I'd want to be more of like a single seat guy. I don't want to be, you know, weird or anything like that, but that's just me. I want to be like a single seat, you know. I don't really want anybody in the back. That's just me. 
Funny story, I've never, I didn't see Top Gun until last year, and I wanted to be a fighter pilot my whole life. So I was age 18 when I first saw Top Gun. Please don't flame me for that in the comment section. But um, yeah, the F-15C is beautiful. I don't want to fly because of air superiority, and as I alluded to earlier, it is undefeated in combat. You can't beat that statistic. It is undefeated in combat. Who does not want to fly anything that is undefeated in combat? I think it's like 141 to nothing. Which is crazy. So, yeah. And, I mean, I just... The, the reason I want to fly the seed basically boils down to single-seater and two-seater. Because, you know, I love multi-role stuff and being able to support the, the ground guys. Um, <clears throat> now, the Strike Eagle, you know, as a two-seater, has a Wazo in the back, uh, carries more stuff so it can do more close air support and stuff like that. And, you know, I love that aspect of it, but I just don't like the aspect that it's a two-seater. So, Yeah. And that's really it. I mean, we go the A-10, the F-16, the F-22, the F-35, the F-15C, and then the F-15E. But this is all in, in fifth place, you know, that's fifth. So, yeah. Also, a reason why I like and place the A-10, F-16, and F-22 and, uh, <clears throat> in succession is because where they can get stationed so the a10 can get stationed in a lot of places uh one of which is korea where i really want to go uh the f16 can get stationed in a lot of places one of which korea germany italy japan i think japan i'm not sure i'm not sure you guys can correct me and the f22 gets could get stationed in hawaii and like uh Alaska, so that's pretty. That's pretty dope, and I think that's really cool. So yeah, that's why I placed those there. But that's really it. I just wanted to make this video to let you guys know that you know, I love airplanes and I love everything that flies. So maybe I, if I meet like somebody who, uh, somebody else, or I, I can get like one of my, um, one of my detachment buddies to. You know, talk about how they feel about my list and react to this video or something like that. I think that'd be a cool little video to make for you guys, so everybody could see that you know everyone's different. Everybody has their own opinions. So, that being said, make them tell you no. Know, every day is a day to be awesome, and I will see you guys in the next video. So, I'll catch you guys. That's boss.